what if you could check your brain health in the same way as your physical health? Hello, you're listening to Well Intel Daily. I'm Annie Hood. This is the podcast that makes wellbeing work for you and your business. I've been inspired recently by the work of Dr. Daniel Amen. He's a prolific psychiatrist and physician and realized early on in his career that psychiatrists are the only medical specialists who don't look at the organ they treat. So he started looking at the brains of his patients and he found, perhaps unsurprisingly, that everyone's brain is different and brain health can be changed through the choices you and I make and the actions we take. And part of his formula is in quite horrified response to the amount of prescribed antidepressants that are given to patients, often creating more issues. And he advocates that the brain, yours and mine, is the organ of happiness, that the health of your brain in no small way dictates directly how we're able to perform at work and show up in the world. Clarity, decision-making and thinking efficiencies depend on how much we care for our brains. Don't skip over that. Do you ever think or give a second thought to the care, nurture and nourishment of your brain, of the hardware? And here's the thing, actually two things. A business's best asset is the brain health of its employees. That makes sense, right? And secondly, we can change our brain. That also means that you and I can protect ourselves from the risk of degenerative illnesses such as dementia or Alzheimer's. Now, how we do that isn't new, but considering our health and well-being by prioritizing the hardware of the mind, the brain, is a different and perhaps a more resonant perspective for you. Dr. Amen has a very simple sort of three-step process to remember this. The first is brain envy, to elevate performance, care for your brain, and think carefully about, number two, avoiding bad things, alcohol, drugs, coffee, processed foods. Do good things, learn, growth, expand your mind. And this is valuable because it is a direct link to the hardware of the mind. For most if not every business and its leadership, if your employees are able to improve their brains, ergo their minds, and cognitive performance, why would you not invest in that? Tomorrow, how are those daily habits coming along? Please do share this, follow, subscribe, review, and be well.